Summer festivals and events in Ohio got a bit of good news today. Governor Mike DeWine is getting rid of any capacity limits at outdoor events and simplifying the state health orders as well. WCPO 9 News reporter Josh Bazan explains the changes and how they are really a big step forward for one iconic Cincinnati event. Cincinnati's Flying Pig Marathon typically looks like this, but in 2020, the event had to go virtual. A handful of people made their own finish line, but organizers couldn't safely hold the massive race. That could be changing this year. I'm not exaggerating when I tell you it gives me goosebumps. I'm elated. Organizers are looking at Halloween as a potential date for the 23rd Flying Pig Marathon, hoping to combine it with the Queen Bee Weekend. That's not set in stone, but organizers say Governor Mike DeWine's announcement Monday removing capacity limits at outdoor events is a step in the right direction. I'm very proud and pleased to say that our staff, again, has worked diligently to make sure we're going to be ready to pull the trigger. We can go. Now with his announcements, we're, we're, re we're ready to be off and running. Governor DeWine consolidated the state health orders Monday. For outdoor events, he's recommending people keep their groups to 10 or fewer people and asking those groups to stay six feet apart from each other. We know a lot more today than we knew when this started. Uh, for example, um, the power the power of these masks. Simple steps can save lives and put this pandemic behind us. Pig Works, the group that organizes the Flying Pig Marathon and other Cincinnati races, says it could have some events as early as this summer, but that depends on approval from health officials. We will be doing all we can to, to keep it safe, to follow the guidelines. This simplified health order really focuses on emphasizing things most people have already been doing, and Governor DeWine is asking people to use common sense to stay safe. Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News.